Okay, today we're gonna look back at DSS. Now, previously when we did the launch, that was on 8.04. We're now currently on 8.3. The software is fantastic. We have included a whole range of new improvements, some fantastic new features. Let's take a look at what we've got. Now, the monitoring center in DSS 8.3 still remains incredibly feature rich. Many people didn't actually know about the powers of the view category. Now, when we're looking at a live video stream, then of course we deem that to be a video matrix. There's two video matrix, the preview matrix and the playback matrix. That's what we actually call. Now, whenever you actually have your video matrix, you can drag and drop from the left-hand side, multiple NVRs and multiple camera streams into one view. You can then save that view and then just call it whatever you wish. CCTV, uh, outside, you know, monitoring area five. And then of course, what you can then do is recall that view later on and it will simultaneously log into multiple NVRs and devices. And of course, as far as you're concerned, you're just looking at one video matrix view. Now, of course, when it, we're actually looking at the video matrix or the preview, then of course, anything advanced on the actual camera, such as video metadata, face detection, face recognition, and AMPR data will all be flagged in the live preview plus accessible on the right-hand side down the AI pane. Network video recorders have had AI pane on the right-hand side for a few years. Now DSS has an AI pane as well. It will show you a history of 50 previous events based on metadata, face, and car, and then of course you can select on that, and then of course access the instant playback from that event within question. So as you see, Monitoring Center still remains incredibly feature rich. Monitoring Center still works with e-mapping technology. Once you actually have your e-maps and multiple layers of e-mapping, you can select a camera and instantaneously look at the live view or its playback from the camera in question. You could also drag a browser or multiple browsers into the video matrix. So then that way you can actually look at the live video stream of another web page, like a news channel. And then of course have your cameras overlook the same situation if you're local to it. And then of course the purpose of the browser within the actual video matrix view is so you always keep your eyes on the prize. You have multiple views of the same allocation and one of them was coming from a web page completely outside of your building. So very, very, resourceful feature. Okay, now in the DSS event center, that will catalog all forms of events from DAO products. It being cameras or recorders or any type of event will be in the event center. The event center now in fact actually has a new view, which is the thumbnail view. So whenever clicking on the thumbnail view, you will be able to see snapshot images, you know, an image taken at the time, an image taken before the time. You will also have a small clipping of the video feed. The actual event center will be able to link to your e-map to show you the geographic location of where that camera is present and the one that is being triggered at that time also. With the event center, you will be able to go into event statistics to then be able to look at some graphics to indicate exactly when and what event has been triggering more popular than other events through the course of the day. This is a fantastic feature because when they're looking at the event statistics, if you were to have 1000 smart motion detections at 0, 100 hours in the morning, then of course clearly something must be wrong there and it requires your investigation. Event statistics is a very easy way to see if there's an irregularity within your events captured by the software. Now, Deep Explore is where we collect all of the intelligence from the DAO products into one easy, usable, accessible area. So all of those video metadata of what people are wearing between the clothing, the bag, the hat, the gender, then of course, obviously the face, once again, the glasses, the beards, the gender, and then of course the face recognition, known and unknown. The vehicles, of course, obviously, you know, the Ford and the BMWs, all of this are extremely useful information collected into one area is where we will find all of the need to knows within the deep explore you can be able to apply several different filters and be able to find the information you're looking for within seconds 
Deep Explore is also compatible with MPT, the mobile portable technology. So of course you will be able to use your portable devices that you're wearing on you and then of course obviously address a history element into your Deep Explore. Deep Explore is also compatible with some, a feature that some people didn't know, which is case banking. Whenever you actually catalog a whole load of evidence, a couple of face images here, a vehicle here, maybe a couple of um, video shots here of somebody walking around, you can put those all into one addressable file, which is exportable. And of course it does actually look like actual evidence that you will provide to the authorities. When you're using case banking, you will be able to collect information selected from your NVRs, from your DVRs, from your cameras, all in one point in time to be able to create a log of information needed by the authorities. That's case banking. Now access control on the DSS version 8 still remains to be very feature rich. Using the ASIs, which is our access control controllers, then of course you can then utilize the powers of being able to open and close the door, look at the live video feeds, not to mention use the storage plan to record the actual live video feeds so you have a permanent recording element to the access controls. The new products such as Insider, the two-door access control system with the cascading technology works perfect with Inside access control. You also have the module which is a video intercom for VDP video door products that of course obviously then will be able to work as intercom you can press the concierge button on the actual VTO and then of course have it call your DSS so with the actual access control that has many many features added to the solution a new feature is the DSS Agile 8 VDP you can now have multiple phones on both platforms and you can actually call the actual mobile phone using DSS. So technically speaking, DSS has now become a telecommunication system also. And of course, in this case here, this is all new modules in 8.3. So parking lot on DSS 8.3, previously known as entrance and exit on previous versions, has come a long way. When it comes down to the actual parking lot, they can use this for your entrance and exit control, completely efficient with barrier entrance and exit. We have the ability for the allowed list, the block list, the ITC cameras can in fact actually work with the metadata being collected from cameras. So parking lot has the ability to be able to tell you the make, the model, the reg of the vehicle that is coming into your parking space but we can also then include the visual display units to in fact actually state you know welcome back to this building we can in fact actually use the digital signage we can use the parking direction technology we also have the ability using parking lot in 8.3 to be able to show parking spaces using overhead cameras they will look at a parking area and of course analyze what vehicles are within the area and if all of those vehicles are occupied or the space is occupied you will notice that the actual camera has a green light admitting from the actual camera that will then turn red because all parking spaces have now been taken all of this and all of these products come into one very easy configurable category in DSS 8.3 now, on the intelligent analysis within DSS 8.3, it covers three primary categories. Heat mapping. Now, heat mapping, of course, obviously doesn't have anything to do with heat or anything to do with thermal imaging. Heat mapping is the hot spots of video motion detection detected within the field of view. If it's an AI camera, then of course, obviously, it's AI heat mapping, which will then detect human and motor vehicle. Now, with the actual heat, heat mapping, you will be able to determine where the hotspots are and then of course let's say if it's in retail categories you will be able to use this type of information to better a solution possibly by replacing a unpopular item with a popular item then of course obviously people counting now people counting with dss has the ability to be able to take collective data from multiple people counting cameras previous versions didn't do this so of course now we can in fact actually use one camera on the entrance one camera on the exit we get then can combine both of those cameras and then determine how many people are still left in the building at the end of the day 
The final one is of course obviously in area detection. So that covers the amount of people that are in a specific area, possibly because maybe you're still bound by COVID regulations. Or alternatively, if it's focusing on retail, it will be able to say how many people are in a queue at any one time. So of course you've got three elements to the intelligent analysis. Now, the maintenance center is how you in fact actually monitor the well-being of all of your DAO products. The maintenance center will be able to look at the well-being of the server, including the actual services and the services running. You will be able to take a look at your CPU, your HD status, and most importantly, you will be able to track on how well the products are doing. You will be able to track for video loss. You will be able to track for hard drive failures. Maintenance center is more for the actual installer or the person being paid for the well-being of the actual units being deployed But of course it tells you everything that is going on and wrong with your actual devices It's now has a brand new feature where we can in fact actually can trigger the threshold because let's say Analog technology. It's very possible for a analog camera to go off for maybe three or four milliseconds and you wouldn't even see that in the live video view but of course obviously it did go off so on dss you can say right i want a video loss with a 10 second threshold if it doesn't come back online by that time trigger the alarm you can do this for all of the maintenance center alarms so of course it's the best tool on the open market to be able to monitor dower products I've used a lot of different VMS platforms on different ranges of products in the past before. However, though, I do generally believe that our DSS is the best VMS platform on the market. The fact that it cooperates with DSS Agile, so then that way I've got the whole powers of my server in my pocket, I literally think it is the best product.